Good afternoon, Robert Scribbler. It is June 25th, 2018. Now, for this segment, I'm going to talk a bit about global temperature in particular. I'm going to try to answer the question, how far back in time do we have to go before we find temperatures that are comparable to those that we are seeing today? Now, before we go into this, I'm just going to state uh, a general context for the climate. Uh, the present climate is warming according to the scientific consensus on climate change, and that warming is due primarily to fossil fuel burning and the related accumulation of greenhouse gases in the Earth's atmosphere. And during recent years, what we have seen is that temperatures have risen considerably. This graph shows temperatures compared to past times, in this case, the 1960s, and how that temperature in increase compares to previous model predictions based on greenhouse gas accumulation. So the models predicted that if greenhouse gas is accumulated, we would see a certain level of warming and what we are seeing is that temperatures are increasing basically along a mid-range that was identified by models back in the late 1980s. Uh, in particular, this, this post is by Guy Walton, and he is talking about how accurate uh, a, a climate scientist named James Hansen was and his his initial predictions apparently are, are very accurate based on on current observations now before i go into my discussion i'd, I'd like to briefly introduce you to this community that guy walton has produced on twitter the community includes a number of broadcast meteorologists climate scientists and uh climate change followers and it's, it's a good community to, to keep track of. Now, recently in this com community, the question was raised, how much have temperatures increased when compared to, to the Holocene and, and recent years in the Holocene? And I'm, what I'm gonna do is, is extrapolate that backward in time based on the recent scientific research. Now, this graph that we're looking at is a reconstruction based on various proxy studies of recent temperatures from the year 0 AD onward. And, and what we find is that temperatures increased from 0 AD to a warm period in, in the medieval times from around 900 AD to around 12 or 1300 AD, and that these temperatures subsequently dropped off into the period known as the Little Ice Age, and then began to steadily warm, and then increasingly warm with a, with a, at a more rapid pace as we entered the Industrial Age from 1750 onward. And as we can see in this graph, the, the 2016 temperature measure is, is quite a bit warmer than the medieval warm period during the, the uh, 9th to 13th century time period by about, about 0 0.75 degrees Celsius, which, which is, a, is, is an extraordinary excursion when you compare it to the most recent 2,000 year time period. Now, these studies were conducted by, by new, numerous independent analysts, and, and one of the, the crucial studies involved recently was one put together by Dr. Michael Mann, which is famously known as the hockey stick study, and was recently updated in the Scientific American on April 20th. And, and this particular article was commemorative of Earth Day and included Michael Mann's recent comments on his groundbreaking hockey, hockey stick study. 
Now, now this context is, is pretty extraordinary. What we see is that temperatures are, are much warmer than they, they have ever been, comparatively speaking, during the last 2,000 years. So how far back do we have to go to find comparative temperatures? Now, the most recent climate epoch is the Holocene period. And this period began about 12,000 years ago at the end of the last ice age, at the end of the last glacial period. And from about 11 or 12,000 years ago to around 8,000 years ago, temperatures continue to warm into, into a period known as the Holocene climate optimum which occurred between about 8,000 and 4,000 years before the present day. And this period was the warmest period during the Holocene. And, and as we can see in this graph, temperatures even by 2004 were warmer than the average range of, of reconstructed temperatures from proxy data. So if we were to extrapolate 2016 numbers, we'd be closer to here, so about 0 0.75 degrees Celsius above the Holocene climate optimum range. And so that would be considerably warmer than even the warmest period during the last 11 or 12,000 years. Now, going back even further, it becomes a bit more difficult to nail down temperatures, uh, but I'm going to look at a, a graph that is a reconstructed graph of, of some temperature proxy data produced by Dr. James Hansen. And, and what we find is that the last time temperatures were warmer than Holocene optimum averages were back during the, the a climate period known as the Emian. And, and according to this graph, the temperatures during the Emian were about one to two degrees Celsius above the Holocene average, and maybe about one degrees Celsius above the Holocene optimum. So, so the 0 0.75 degrees Celsius above the Holocene optimum that we saw in this, in, this, in this graph, if we were to, to extrapolate for 2016, roughly corresponds with temperatures last seen during the Emian, possibly a little bit cooler, but not quite so cool. Now, I'm sorry, but not quite so warm. Now, this period occurred about 115, 120,000 years ago. So, so it looks like we have to go back about that far to see temperatures that are comparable to those of the present day. So the next time someone tells you that, that present temperatures are not as warm as the medieval warm period or not as warm as the Holocene climate optimum, you can tell them that no, the science shows that, that temperatures are much warmer than they were about a thousand years ago, or even about 8,000 years ago. And that you have to go back about 120,000 years before you start to find temperatures that are warmer than the present, or, or start to find a potential for temperatures that were warmer than the present. And so, so you're talking about more than 100 millennia, and that's a long period of time for, for a global temperature record, especially when you look at, at the present day. So, so temperatures right now are really, really warm, even when you consider deep history, and, and they're getting much warmer. So, so we are well outside the context of, of global civil, civilization past temperatures. And this is a serious concern.